would appear that some of you are still struggling to get your head around the basics of guiding and what is required. First of all, remember that the basics of guiding is a skills pro program that forms part of the larger qualification, the FETC Tourist Guiding or Further Education and Training Certificate Guiding on a level four that equates to matric or grade 12 level. So within this basics of guiding, there are five unit standards that also appear then in the larger qualification. And those unit standards lay the foundation for your guiding career. It gives you the head of a guide, how to think and act as a guide, and teaches you the most important principles. So without it, it's very difficult to, to um, continue with the rest of the program, the advanced guiding, if this is not in place. So therefore, it is very challenging, I know, and it appears to be a lot of work, but it is important that, that you gain this information and go through the process in order to learn the necessary skills. Now, one of the skills is to really um, follow instructions. So to read and study material that was sent to you typically in future by the tour operator that will send you maybe a schedule or some instructions or some information and you have to make sense out of it. So part of the program is aimed at this and um, seeing that, that you do gain the skills by clarifying with me, if we necessary, reading through the instructions again, and um, yeah, and being innovative uh, and not deviating, without deviating from the program. So what do you need to do to complete the basics of guiding or the, or the skills program culture site guide in order to obtain your first guiding qualification or a CAFCETA certificate? So the steps to be completed includes, include the following. The SA overview assignment that comprises of 22 sections relating to different topics, each with um, a set of questions or guidelines as to what is required. And then after completing each section, you go online culturalguiding.com and complete the tests relating to each one that will prepare you for the exams. And then secondly, there's the basics of guiding uh, modules, lectures two to nine, uh, that involves watching uh, lectures, video lectures, and then completing quizzes online. It's in a PDF format. You can either do it electronically or print it, or if you prefer, uh, you can also create a sheet and just write it on, uh, the numbers and selections on a piece of paper and then mark your answers at the end. Now these quizzes along with the SI overview needs, needs to need to be forwarded to me. Uh, either you can do it via WhatsApp or put it in a folder in Google Drive or perhaps email it and this is for verification purposes when CAFCETA checks if you have actually done the word and if you are really competent. Then upon completion of the above, you can request the knowledge questionnaires uh, that will be forwarded to you. It's a link containing multiple choices online and it's time-based and you may not use your notes to complete it but we will discuss this when we get there. The fourth thing to be completed is a workplace guide or the so-called additional practical evidence document that requires you to apply what you've learned above and to prepare for a presentation on a site, which is the last uh, task to be completed, a 45 to 60 minutes guided tour of a prominent cultural site. So it's a walking tour that needs to be recorded on your phone or a video camera or whatever. Um, yeah, so this, these are the five steps to be completed 
we recommend that you actually do the basics of guiding modules first because that goes go much faster and then you can start with your workplace guide while still continuing with the ESSA overview assignment that uh, might take you a little while. So where do you find all this information? And if you look at the tourist guide masterclass basics of guiding that was forwarded to you right in the beginning, that's where everything happens. We can also refer to it as the study guide that gives you the step-by-step -step instructions of completing your first part of the course before assessment. So first of all, you will see there's the instructions. There are the instructions that you need to read through carefully and do exactly what I instruct you to do, as well as it provides you with the link to resources, the basics of guiding resources um, that has have all the, the quiz, qu quizzes, uh, additional resources like PDFs, essay overview resources, as well as um, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, the the manuals, the learner, the so-called learner guides. So here you see first of all the essay overview with um, the reference to the learner guide that should be used. In this case, it's the essay overview. Then there's the lecture topic, big five periods in South African history with the video link to the far right as well as then in the middle columns we find the instructions what you need to do the assignments yeah we see you need to do the research assignment essay overview or the workbook and then um, test yourself online on cultural guiding we've already discussed it but there's a brief summary of what you need to do in this column as well as um, a column indicating additional resources where applicable. So what you also should notice on the right hand side, there's a column for date completed as well as uh, for your initial. And this you need to do, maybe you can write when you start with this project as well as when you finish it because it's quite a long one. And then you initial at the right hand side. On the next page, you will notice on the top it says supplementary information. And where I tell you it's not necessary to go through these videos, it's only there to support your, uh, your, your walking tour research. For instance, if you are going to present on the cradle of humankind or the origins of humans related sites, then you can watch this video clip or immigration or for Iron Age sites, um, the Mfakan for Foot Tracker Monument, for example. So these are just supplementary. We will actually get back to it in the advanced guiding, but I just thought I'll add it here for in case you require uh, some additional knowledge and background for your site. Uh, then you notice these the basics of guiding to a heading and that's the modules to be completed for the theory for the basics of guiding and uh, on this page you can see five lectures and the same format as before with the learner guide they've got codes because it's small little manuals that i've broken up so you can you know exactly where to find additional information about the topic uh, there's a lecture once again uh, a pdf of the powerpoint that has was used for this lecture as well as a pdf fillable form to be completed and once again sign at the right hand side and stipulate the date that you've completed each one of these uh, sections or quizzes And then finally, uh, upon completion of lecture nine, that is the last of the quizzes for this section. Uh, and that involves observing two guides presenting at a site. These are also students where you have to evaluate 
their performance as a tourist but also as an assessor so that you get to know what is required um, tourists don't look at guides in the same manner as the assessor uh, because they don't know what it takes they can say oh it's a great guide or this or that but the assessor or the experienced guide will tell you no this guide is not following the the protocol on site or not uh, adhering to the health and safety regulations or whatever the case may be so this is what you need to take note of in this lecture 9 and then finally lecture 10 is the preparation for the completion of the workplace or practical guide and here there's no course to complete uh, you just need to uh, complete the declaration form at the end that you have worked through the above and that you are ready to actually commence with your assessment and uh, this document needs to be submitted to us in order to proceed uh, with the um, summative assessment that means the final assessments I trust that this has been helpful to you. Please, when you get stuck, contact me for clarification and let's move forward and get this out of the way as soon as possible. This is the most difficult part of the full qualification. So if you can complete this, you will be ready to move on to the advanced guiding and most of the students have proven to really go quite fast through the advanced guiding once they get over this first